Hello, I'm Miss Jane. I'm the Mandarin teacher in Nexus. My hobby is cycling. I started cycling since very young age, but it's more on the leisure kind. But during the pandemic, because not much activity that we can do, so I started to do it more frequently and also cycling in more mileage. I started to cycle when I was in five years old. My parents bought me a bicycle with the two little wheels at the side. So that's how I started my cycling journey. And I used to cycle to school in my primary school time. I stopped cycling for quite a while when I got my driving license because definitely we drive to every place we go. So I stopped cycling for about 10 years. It's just occasionally when I need it, I'll just cycle. But when I studied in Shanghai, I cycle it to explore the city. That's how I get back to the activity. There isn't many activities that I can do, especially in sports because I have a weak ankle that I can't put too much weight on the ankle itself. So I normally swim or cycling. I prefer cycling because I can enjoy the scenery along the route and also I want to keep fit. So during the pandemic, I came to this organization to go part that they have this virtual challenge which I find is very interesting to accomplish the competition is not very difficult so normally I will cycle around 40 km per week which I realize compared to those professionals is definitely a very little miles not, not many but it keeps me a routine to do exercise and I find that I'm more fit after pick up the cycling activities again. Definitely, um, we save the environment. We don't use car that more that much. Uh, also, as I said, uh, I enjoy the scenery along the route, and I can explore my neighborhood by foot, which I don't do much. So I do cycling that to explore a new neighborhood, a new area. Especially when I first came to Nexus, it is quite out of my usual hangout place. So I cycle the whole Putrajaya to know a lot of the places that I haven't explored. And when the restriction of the SOP has been loosened, I get to know more areas in Putrajaya. I would say I don't know how to change a punctured tire and it happened just recently but luckily i went to a petrol station i tried to refill the tire but eventually i couldn't <laughs> because it's i need to bring it to the bicycle shop to repair it so at least the assistant in the petrol station they helped me so yeah that is the biggest challenge i faced and i had an accident last year and thank god it's minor. Uh, I do have a minor surgery, but I will say I don't have any fracture, so be careful when you're cycling. So, if you would like to cycle, I think we can start as a natural activity instead of giving yourself a big pressure to you have to do like the professionals. I think as a natural cyclist, it's quite enjoyable that you can do cycling like whenever you want and whatever knowledge that you can do. So just to make sure keep yourself safe and healthy with some knowledge of taking care of the bicycle, it's also essential. Thank you.